Marie Davis doesn't know what's going on in her home. You feel violated, you feel tormented. She says she and her children have all witnessed it. We saw a black figure that walked from the wall over to the fireplace, and then it was another white figure that walked from the wall to the fireplace. And it doesn't stop there. I've had physical attacks. Looking for answers, she enlists the help of Haunted and Paranormal Investigation, or HPI. Right now I'm feeling something in this spot right here. Sensitive Deanna Stinson begins that, by moving through the home looking for signs of spiritual energy. I, oh, I feel it really strong um, in this too. As you can see, I'm actually getting goosebumps. On her way up the stairs, she suddenly stops. I actually got a vision of a woman. Um, uh, she's white uh, with light hair, but she's also kind of a larger woman. In the cabinet behind Deanna are the ashes of Marie's late grandmother who match that description. She didn't know this. I mean, no. you didn't talk to oh, her. Nobody knew it was anything in there. I'm already feeling a lot of energy. Deanna then heads into the master bedroom. I feel this so far the strongest room in the house. If you're not in your head. Why, Marie? Because I've been attacked. Okay. In here. Yeah. yeah. In my bed. Yeah. Okay. While we're upstairs, Marie's daughter Farah begins behaving differently. Farah? Her demeanor completely changes right in front of us. Her toes curl up, head drops down, and she's visibly shaking. Marie says this has happened before and is why they asked HPI to come out and investigate. It just felt really strong to where I had to stand up and walk away from it and ask him if we could pray. We go outside to ask Deanna what's happening. And there's some people that is very easily attacked by the spirit world. Deanna believes the entity is now attached to Farah. And we walk back in. Farah asked for pen and paper and is doing what is called automatic writing. The room is eerily silent. Her hand frantically moves on the paper. Her eyes shift back and forth. The spirit goes through the medium and then they can write the message down. She is done. It always is watching here different shapes. The note also references two of Marie's children, Farah and Darius, and says the entity is male. We ask for samples of Farah's normal handwriting for comparison. You can clearly see a difference. Paul Roberts and Deanna move on to gather evidence outside with the electronic voice phenomena recorder or EVP. Who are you? Paul attempts to record an EVP while Deanna captures something on her camera. So this is the picture that you took? Yep. Without being manipulated Without in being way. manipulated, I just took it a snapshot. And then you get closer to the orb and you actually look and it actually will have two holes and maybe like a smile for a face. What do you make of this? It looks like an orb to me. It looks like he was communicating with something and that's the way it was like showing up on the camera. Now, an hour later, it appears Farah has returned to normal. She tells us her body went numb. She felt a weight pressed upon her and doesn't remember writing anything down. The investigation is over and they now proceed with blessing the home. Sprinkling holy water and burning Palo Santo wood to cleanse the space, Marie is hopeful this will bring her family peace. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay.